In this module, you will see how to create your own custom drop-down boxes and how to populate them. We do that by going to Tools, Data, choose Data Management. In here, we already have a drop-down box by default for departments. To add to it, you select Departments and then click on Populate. Select the next row and type in the items that you would like to add to the department's drop-down box. If there's an item in here that you need to change the look of it, you can drop your cursor on that line and alter it as you need to. If there's a row that you don't need any longer, just select that row and hit the red X to remove it. When you're done, hit OK. To create your own custom drop-down boxes, click on New. Give the column a name. When we type this in here, for the column we cannot put spaces between the words. column names do not like spaces. We'll choose a data type of nvercare, vercare standing for variable character. The n added to it allows us to use international characters. This is the field that we use, or the data type that we use, when we are going to manually type in information, like we did for departments. We can keep the defaults, you can change the length. We allow null values because it is not required information. Click on Save the Table, give it a name. Here you can put a space for the name of the table, then hit OK. We populate it the same way we did Departments by selecting it, and then click on Populate. I'm going to make three different badge types for student, staff, and faculty. If you want a blank in your drop-down box, hit the plus sign, the yellow plus sign down there, to add a couple extra rows. This way, if you've already selected, in this case, a badge type, you will be able to go back and deselect by choosing a blank space.